Hello everybody, AZ Flyer here. And in this video, we're gonna cover how to customize the screens and widgets on your display here on a FR Sky X20 radio. Uh, and it's really handy to do that. There are a lot of different ways you can configure the screen. And we're gonna do it um, in the context of setting up one of these uh, LiPo voltage sensors. These are really cool for being able to monitor your voltage in your airplane. Uh, record the voltage and also do some warning call outs if you need to. There's a lot of different functionality you can do here and it goes really well with setting up the screens. So we're gonna do both those together. Okay, so what this sensor allows you to do is it allows you to track and display the voltage per cell on anything up to an eight cell battery. And so it's just got these leads here and it plugs into your uh, balance lead and you can see on the back, it tells you, um, you know, what your different cells are from one to eight. And of course, we want to plug in from one to six. I'm running a six cell battery, so I'm going to plug in on the bottom ones here. And you'll see when I plug it in, you get a readout here of your total voltage for your battery and your voltage per cell. Now, when you plug this into your FR Sky receiver, you can transfer this telemetry then to your receiver and track it in flight. You can have it read out on the screen and call out warnings if you hit certain thresholds that you want to set for your battery. So that's what we're going to do, going to do now. Okay, so the first thing is to understand some terminology. So if we wanna configure screens, that means we're configuring the entire screen here. And you can have multiple screens that you can scroll through. Right now I just have one screen. And the widgets, configuring widgets, is configuring what's in each one of these tiles here. That's a widget. So we wanna configure widget, we're gonna go into that tile. Configuring screens means we're gonna set up the entire screen. So you can start by just tapping on any one of these and you'll see you have a configure screens option here. We're gonna tap on configure screens, and that then brings me into the screen configuration for this screen that I'm in. You remember I had the airplane here, and I've got my different widgets set up here. Now I could add a screen here if I wanted a, a second screen. Maybe I've got more than what I can handle one screen. I can just click the, the plus sign, and that will add a screen. You can configure that one. But let's just work on this one screen now. I'm gonna put my battery voltage over here on this tile. Okay, so in that, but I can also change up this uh, to look differently. And by just tapping on the screen button, I can change the layout. And now I can choose which layout I want. I'm gonna choose this four tile layout right here, but you see there's multiple layouts you can choose. I happen to be in this one right now, the top left, but I want this four screen on the top right. So if I just tap on that, that'll bring up a four screen layout. And if I go back to my homepage, you'll see now I've got my four screens. I've got my airplane uh, bitmap here on this one. I've got my timer, I've got my maximum speed, my maximum altitude. I wanna put my battery voltage right here. So I'm gonna tap on this guy and I'm gonna configure widget. So now I'm gonna go in here and configure this widget, right? It's Right now it's selected for model bitmap. I'm gonna change that to be uh, show the telemetry from my LiPo. So I'm gonna click LiPo. What is my sensor? My sensor is gonna be uh, a sensor I'm gonna set up here in a second. And then I can set my low voltage. So I can come in here now and say, I want it to show me when the voltage hits 3.6 or turn red and indicate it's low voltage when I hit 3.6. Now then when I come out of that and I go back to my home screen, it's gonna display here as soon as I set up my sensor. All right, now I have my battery plugged into my airplane and I've got my uh, sensor installed. I've got it just uh, daisy chaining here and my other sensors and plugged into my balance lead. And you can see I'm showing a uh, battery cell readout here on the sensor, but I need to have it recognized inside the airplane, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to my uh, telemetry page on my airplane screen, scroll over to telemetry and we're gonna have it discover new sensors if it didn't come up, it doesn't look like it came up. So let's go ahead and tap discover new sensors. And now I should see the LiPo show up down here. And so now my total voltage is showing up for that battery. So the, it is recognizing that sensor. So now if I go back to my main screen, I wanna have it now find that telemetry as that, that sensor in my telemetry in my tile. So I'm gonna tap on it. I'm gonna say configure widget and my sensor now is going to be that LiPo. There it is. I've got my 3.6 volts as my uh, low voltage warning, and I've got my widget is LiPo, sensor is LiPo, and now when I come back to that screen, I can see now all of my voltages for all of those cells are showing up on my screen. 
Now here's where we can start to have some fun. You'll see that my sensors are all showing white here, which means none of them are below 3.6 volts. To test this, to make sure it's working right, I can go in here and I can configure that widget and I can turn this up to something that will allow me to test the low voltage. See, I wanna say 3.9 or 3.88. Yeah, if I get below 3.88, I want it to, uh, to alarm me as a, as, a, as a low cell. And you'll see now they're all below, they're all with 3.88 or below. And so you see here that uh, anything that reaches 3.88 will show is red, right? So I know that my low voltage warning is working. So I don't want 3.88, that's too high. I'll go in here, let's turn this up to like, to test it in action here, let's turn to like 3.85, okay? I shouldn't have any there now. I should, oh, I've got one at 3.85. When I turn on my motor, you'll see as it starts to pull down on those cells, you'll see these then start to turn red. We'll watch this, probably this, uh, these two on the right here. As I give it power, there they go. Those cells are under load, they're dropping below 3.85 and they are turning red. When I let up on the power, the cell, you know, res goes, the load ends, it goes back up a little bit and I'm, and I'm okay. So you can see my low voltage is working because as it pulls down below my threshold, they're turning red. So all is working there. All right, so I don't want that at 3.85 normally. I'm gonna configure that. I'll turn it down to 3.86. That's what I want my low voltage to be in, in real time, in, in reality. So that the 3.6, I go back, they're all okay now, everything is fine. Something else you might wanna do is you might wanna have it call out your voltage. So you can do a couple different things. You can have it call out the total voltage for the pack or just call out the lowest cell. So let's show you how to do each one of those. So I'm gonna to go to my airplane. I'm gonna go over to my special functions. And my special functions, I'm gonna set up a special function for calling out the battery voltage. So I can hit the plus sign. Action's gonna be play value. And it's gonna play the value of this, of this sensor. I'm gonna enable it. I'm gonna leave it always on for now. And I'm gonna have my value to be telemetry. So I'm gonna come down here to telemetry, set it to LiPo. Now it's gonna call out my LiPo voltage for the whole pack. I'll, I'll set it to call it out once every- 23.2 volts, 23.2 volts, 23.2 volts. Catching up 20... a little bit. So now it's calling out the entire pack, uh, voltage for the entire pack. But I would really like to know what my lowest cell voltage is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change this. Instead of being LiPo, I can select the little hamburger right here volts. and have it call out just the lowest cell. So press and hold the little volts. hamburger and, type, and tap lowest. Let me step off now. Volts. Now it's calling out just the lowest cell. 3.9 volts. There you go. And um, five seconds is probably too, too much. So I'll turn up to say 15 seconds. 3.9 volts. 3.9 volts, 3.9 volts, 3.9 volts. Okay, so now it's just gonna call out the lowest voltage on that pack every 15 seconds. So I know that if it gets down to 3.6, I may wanna go ahead and start my landing cycle, for instance, whatever you feel comfortable with, it's just gonna call out my lowest cell. Well, something else you might wanna do is you might wanna set it where if my voltage for a low cell drops down to a certain level, tell me more frequently. In other words, tell me every five seconds or something like that. So to do that, we're gonna go out, we're gonna create a logic switch to tell me when my voltage hits a certain level, do something different. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign. I'm gonna call this cell, just what I'm, I'll call it so I know what it's talking about. And for my function here, I'm gonna say when A is less than X, and A is going to be my telemetry for the lipo pack. Okay, now I'm gonna to need to press on the little hamburger here because I'm gonna to have to tell it the lowest. So press the little hamburger, select lowest. Now I've got when A, the lowest cell is less than X and I'm gonna dial X up to say 3.61. So now when my, when my, I have a cell hit 3.6, right? That's lower than 3.61. It's going to activate something. So now I've, I'm gonna leave it always on. Now you can put that on a switch if you want. Say you don't want this, this logic switch to run all the time. You could put it on a switch, but I'm gonna leave it always on. 
so that when the lowest cell drops below 3.61, the logic switch will activate. So I'm gonna come out here then and create a new special function tied to that logic switch. So now I'm gonna say play value, enable. My active condition is that logic switch. So here's my logic switch and it's gonna be cell, there it is. So now when my, it's gonna call, I remember I've got the other one to call out every 15 seconds, but now I want it to tell me the value of that lipo. So I'm gonna take my value of the lipo, again, back to the hamburger. I'm gonna hit my little guy here, tell him lowest. So now play the value of the lowest cell whenever a cell hits 3.61, because that's my logic switch right here. My actual condition is that logic switch. Whenever I hit that 3.61 threshold, set up my logic switch, tell me the value of the lowest cell. And I want it to do that every, let's call it six seconds. So now every six seconds, it's gonna tell me the, the value of the lowest cell that's below 3.61. Okay, to test it, I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my values a little bit on my logic switch so that I can test it. My lowest cell right now is 3.85. So I'm gonna go ahead and dial this to say 3.84. If I hit 3.84, it'll, you can see if as I dial up, I turn green up here. There, it's working. 3.86, it's working. I'll go back to 3.85, it doesn't work. If I give it a little power, it should turn green. There it goes. If I let off, it goes away because my, pulled my cell down below 3.85. So you can see right now, I don't have a cell below 3.85. But if I give it some power, it pulls my cells down and activates. So I know that logic switch is working, okay? So let's go ahead and turn our volume up and let's see if it works with the special function. I'll go ahead and give it some power. 3.8 volts. Yep. 3.8 volts. If I back off, it should go away. 3.8 I might have pulled the voltage down. Yeah, I've got some sitting at 3.84 now. So now I know my voltage has come down. So if I dial this down to 3.84, see it went away because my from running it, it pulled the voltage down on my batteries. Um, but I know that's working. So without that switch on, now it's going to tell me the regular voltage every 15 seconds. So we should hear it pop on here in just a second and tell us the normal voltage because the, the other special function is running as normal. Let's go make sure. Yep, here's our lowest. Oh, it's set to once. I got set down to three once. 3.9 volts, 3.9 volts, 3.9 volts. There we go, now we have the, so we've got two special functions. We've got one calling us out the cell every 15 seconds, and we've got one that'll call it every six seconds when my voltage drops below a, a certain level, which is what I'm at, I'm at right now. I'm just getting the normal. So I'm gonna go back to my logic switch and I'm gonna turn that down to what I want it to be normally, which is 3.61. 3.61 volts. 3.8 volts. There you go. Now you've got uh, the sensor set up on your, on your dashboard here. So you've got your, your voltage showing up. You've got your low voltage uh, set to turn red if I hit 3.6 volts. I can rearrange my screens to be whatever I want. And I have call outs on my different cells. Now, if I want to add a, another screen, like say I want another screen for a picture of my plane or anything else, then I can just tap on one of these, hit configure screens, and I can actually create a new screen and make that whatever I want as well. So see, I want to make that this old fashioned one. I can do that. So now you'll see I have two dots up here for two different screens. I've got my screen I was just working in here. If I scroll over, I've got my other screen that I can set up here. So I can add screens and I can configure these widgets all by going into the configure screens and configure, configure widgets setting. So I hope that's something that's helpful for you, uh, especially the voltage. I find that very, very uh, helpful to make sure I'm not pushing a battery too far, especially if it's a new battery type that I've never flown before. Um, so it's nice to be able to have that voltage right here and calling out to you so you can track it and keep me out of trouble from running into a dead battery. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, throw a, a comment in the chat. We'll do the best to help out. Uh, happy flying, fly safe, and thanks for watching.